Hello, my dear learners. A uh, very good afternoon, everyone. I am Shashank, and I welcome you all on English Medium Prep by Example, the official English medium channel of Example. So, students, first of all, very good afternoon, everyone. And you all know that today is the marathon day, and maximum of you they have requested the marathon of art and culture. So, here I am with your demand. That is the marathon of art and culture, guys. And art and culture, this is a mixed question. It is not only associated with the medieval India questions from the modern art and culture, ancient art and culture. That is also there. So, guys, first of all, please confirm your attendance. Then we are going to start the session. And it is going to be one of the finest sessions that will cover all your questions. Maximum, not all. In fact, maximum questions from the segment. And uh, I will be bringing this type of marathon also in upcoming future. So, Sharvani, good afternoon. Munish, good afternoon. Okay. Pandu Babu, good afternoon. Vandana, good afternoon. So, just I am Munish, perfectly all right. So, Shanmukh Priya, good afternoon. So, that uh, Shanmukh Priya, that I remember in the success batch, in fact. So, I said that Shanmukh Priya, that she is also a contestant in Indian Idol. So, if I am not wrong, in fact, so Shanmukh Priya, good, it is good afternoon and welcome to the session, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the session. And students, today we are going to discuss the art and culture. So, Anthony, good afternoon and uh, welcome to the session. So, students, now let's begin the session. Do not waste any further time. So, very good afternoon, all of my dear lovely students so let's start the session let's start the session and here is the first question that is before you the question before you is in which of the state the folk painting madhubani is popular so in which of the states guys madhubani painting is popular is it west bengal Odisha, bihar or assam so in which state of india madhubani painting is popular very much popular Madhubani paintings. So it is in which state of India, guys? Which state of India you will find Madhubani painting? West Bengal, Odisha, Bihar or Assam? Okay, let's see the correct answer. So Munish is saying Bihar. Okay. So, okay, Vandana is also very good. Everyone is going with option C. Ram is also saying option c and yes guys correct answer is also option c madhubani it is name of a district so madhubani it is a name of the district name of a district in bihar and there it is a very famous painting that is madhubani painting that is in bihar guys now tell me ki patta chitra Patta Chitra, it is a famous painting of which state and Patua Art. Patua Art, it is a famous painting of which state. So, good afternoon Vijay and guys, don't forget to like and share the session. So, definitely Munesh, so please don't forget to like and share the session. Now, my question to you is that Patta Chitra, that is a famous painting of which state and also you have to answer Patua Art. So, where you will find Patta Chitra? Patta Chitra, very good guys, that is in Odisha. And Patua Art, it is in West Bengal. Patua Art, it is in West Bengal. And Madhubani painting, that is located in Bihar. It is not Patua Art, it is in Rajasthan. Patua Art, it is in West Bengal. So, you will find that the uh, paintings of Goddess Durga, that is generally being made through the Patua Art. So, Patua Art, West Bengal, Patta Chitra, Odisha. So, correct answer will be for the Madhubani painting, guys. It is Bihar. And Madhubani, it is name of a district in Bihar as well. So, correct answer will be option C. Now, let's move to the next question. Next question we have, Ki Nek Chand Saini, Saini's name is associated with which of the following garden? So, Nek Chan Saini, so who died recently, in fact, 3-4 years back. So, Nek Chan Saini, that is, it is, uh, he is associated with which of the following gardens? Shalimar Garden, Rock Garden, Hanging Garden, Vrindavan Garden. So, Nek Chan Saini, that is, he is associated with which garden?
ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर ओके ओके प्लीज एड पिक्चर्स ऑफ द पेंटिंग ओके सो दैट आई विल ब्रिंग सो साइंस क्लासेस डेफिनेटली चक्रवर्ती सून साइंस क्लासेस विल आल्सो बी देयर सो सून साइंस क्लासेस वी विल बी ब्रिंगिंग द साइंस क्लासेस एज वेल डोंट वरी सो वी विल ब्रिंगिंग वी विल बी ब्रिंग द मैराथन आल्सो नाउ गाइस इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस नेक नेकचंद सैनीज नेम ही इज एसोसिएटेड विद द रॉक गार्डन दैट इज लोकेटेड इन चंडीगढ़ नाउ गाइस माय क्वेश्चन टू यू इज कि शालीमार गार्डन वाज बिल्ट बाय होम built by whom and this is being used so in rock garden the dervis dervis of the city was used by nek chand sani to construct different monuments and chandigarh the designer of chandigarh is lee kobusier lee kobusier is the designer of the city of chandigarh so my question to you is ki shalimar bag which is located in shrinagar that is in jammu and kashmir it is near nishat bag so this was built by whom so which mughal ruler built this which mughal ruler built this shalimar bag shalimar bag was built by which mughal ruler guys so that was built by jahangir for his wife noor jahan so that was built by jahangir for his wife नूर जहां सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज शालीम रॉक गार्डन चंडीगढ़ दैट वॉज बिल्ड थ्रू द डरबिस ऑफ द सिटी एंड द डिजाइनर ऑफ द सिटी ऑफ चंडीगढ़ इज ली कोबूसियर सो आई होप गाइज इट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड दिस शालीमार गार्ड इट्स इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल गार्डन वेन एवर यू विल गेट द टाइम टू विजिट जम्मू कश्मीर डोंट फॉर गेट टू विजिट दैट प्लेस सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन B that is the rock garden that is in Chandigarh. Now come to the temples. Which of the following temple, guys, is not correctly matched? Which of the following temple is not correctly matched? Is it Mahakal Temple, or Jain, Shringeri Math, Chikmangalore, Sun Temple, Konark, or Jain Temple, Khajuraho? So, which of the following temples is not correctly matched with the place? Easy question. I hope. a uh, maximum of you will be giving the correct answer and my dear students if you are finding the session interesting and useful so don't forget to like and share the session so which of the following pair is guys not correctly matched so that's a very easy question so i was knowing ki the students will get confused between b and d okay let's see so maximum students they are going with option d but munis is saying option b guys shringeri math that was established by adi shankar acharya so shringeri math it is in chikmangalore district of karnataka karnataka correct answer will be guys jain temple that is in khajuraho khajuraho it is in chatarpur district chatarpur district of madhya pradesh and it is famous for kandariya mahadev it is famous for kandariya mahadev temple kandariya mahadev temple that is the temple dedicated to lord shiva and jain temples guys you will find jain temples you will find you will find in ranakpur and mount abu that is in rajasthan Jain temples you will find Ranak Ranakpur and in Mount Abu that is located in Rajasthan. So correct answer will be guys Jain temple. It is not in Khajuraho. Khajuraho you will find erotic sculptures. You will find in Khajuraho you will also find erotic sculptures. Other than this, the famous Kandariya Mahadev temple that is also located in the place. Khajuraho and Jain temples you will find in 
मध्य यू विल फाइंड इन राजस्थान फेमस जैन टेम्पल वन इट इज इन रनकपुर एंड सेकेंड इट इज इन माउंट आबू दिलवाड़ा जैन टेम्पल इट इज इन माउंट आबू सो आई होप गाइज इट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड महाकाल टेम्पल दैट इज अ वेरी फेमस टेम्पल लोकेटेड इन उज्जैन सावन द मंथ ऑफ सावन इज गोइंग ऑन एंड इन उज्जैन गाइज यू विल फाइंड टू मोर अदर इंपॉर्टेंट टेम्पल सो इन उज्जैन द अदर टू इंपॉर्टेंट टेम्पल इज मंगल नाथ मंगल नाथ टेम्पल देन काल भैरव टेम्पल एंड हर सिद्धि टेम्पल हर सिद्धि टेम्पल सो दीज ऑल थ्री टेम्पल्स देट इज ऑल्सो लोकेटेड इन उज्जैन मंगल नाथ टेम्पल एंड अबाउट मंगल नाथ टेम्पल इट इज सेट दैट की दिस इज द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ प्लेनेट मार्स so for mangal nath temple guys it is said that ki this is the birth place of of planet mars kal bhairav temple kal bhairav temple you will find ki it is a very popular you will find ki kal bhairav drinks wine and third is har siddhi temple which is a shakti peeth so other than mahakal temple these three temples are also important and all these three they are located in ujjain so i hope guys it is clear to all of you then please tell me then i will be moving to the next question so is that clear to all of you guys shall i move to the next question and shringeri math that was established by adi shankara acharya that is located in karnataka that is in shringeri it is in chikmagalur district of karnataka i hope it is clear to all of you guys then you can tell me you can show me the thumbs up so that i can proceed to the next question is that clear to all of you okay guys so that is clear and these all three temples are also located in ujjain mangalnath temple it is said that ki this place is the birth place of planet mars now let's move to the next question next question is about a painting that is called kalamkari kalamkari painting refers to what a handmade cotton textile a uh, hand painted cotton textile in south india a handmade drawing on bamboo handicraft in northeast india a block painted woolen cloth in western himalayan region or a handmade decorative silk cloth in northwestern region so my dear students what is kalamkari kalamkari so that's a very easy question multiple times in our previous sessions we have discussed ki what is kalamkari ओके कलमकारी गाइस एवरीवन इज गोइंग विथ ऑप्शन ए एंड यस करेक्ट आंसर इज आल्सो ऑप्शन ए इट इज अ हैंडमेड पेंटेड कॉटन टेक्सटाइल इन साउथ इंडिया फेमस इन कर्नाटक सॉरी फेमस इन आंध्र प्रदेश एंड इट हैज गॉट जीआई टैग आल्सो सो इट हैज गॉट जीआई टैग ज्योग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन टैग आल्सो so it is a handmade painted cloth textile in south india especially in andhra pradesh and it has got gi tag also so it is geographical indicate it is geographical indication that i have shared a pdf in the telegram channel about the geographical indications of andhra pradesh and i hope maximum of you must have downloaded that pdf and on the regular basis i will be uploading also hmm so it is also got the gi tag geographical indication it is not index it is geographical indications gi it is geographical indication so correct answer will be guys option a hmm correct answer will be guys option a now next question we have ki from which indian state the worli art originated so worli art that is originated in which state of india is it maharashtra is it rajasthan is it keral or is it madhya pradesh so where worli art originated so guys whatever i am writing on the interactive panel so that is all visible to you so whatever i am writing on the interactive panel is it visible to all of you guys
Okay, let's see the correct answer. So, Worli art. Worli it is the name of a tribe. So, it is the name of a tribe. And that originates from the Maharashtra region. So, Worli art originated from the Maharashtra region. So, correct answer will be guys, Maharashtra. So, that is in Maharashtra region, Worli art. And it is the name of a tribe also, Worli paintings. In fact, Worli paintings are very much famous. So, Worli paintings are very much famous. So, Worli it is a type of a painting. It is a type of a painting. So, correct answer will be guys option A that is Maharashtra. It is name of a tribe which is in Maharashtra. So, Worli painting or Worli art it is from Maharashtra. Now guys, let's move to the next question. Next question is in which area Nandalal Bose earned fame? So in which area Nandalal Bose earned fame? Is it painting, folk art, dance or politics? So Nandalal Bose earned fame in which of the following areas? Painting, folk art, dance or politics? Okay, let's see the correct answer. Sudip so, is saying option A. So, guys, if you are saying option A, can you name one? Can you uh, identify about his creations? So, for which thing, for which type of painting he was famous? So, although, guys, correct answer will be option A. That is, he is famous for painting. So, can you name his, can you answer the contribution? Contribution of Nandalal Bose. Nandalal Bose, the contribution of Nandalal Bose. Can you answer me? What was the contribution of Nandalal Bose? Correct, it is painting. But tell me the contribution of Nandalal Bose. And I have discussed this thing when we discuss about the introduction of the constitution. When we discuss the introduction of the constitution, there we have discussed the things. Okay, so he is a painter, no doubt. But can you tell me his contribution? That is related to the constitution. That is related to the constitution. So that's a very big hint. That is related to the constitution. Guys, see, Nandalal Bose was the painter from Shanti Niketan. So he was associated with Shanti Niketan. And you will find ki the border of the pages, border of the pages of Indian constitution was designed by Nandalal Bose. Border of the pages of the Indian constitution that was des designed by Nandalal Bose. However, the calligraphy, calligraphy in English was did by Prem Bihari Raizada. Prem Bihari Raizada did the calligraphy of the constitution and in the font in which constitution is written, it is italic. So the whole constitution, it is written in italic format. Font that is italic and calligraphy of the English medium. Actually, the constitution is originally written in English medium. So the calligraphy was did by Prem Bihari Raizada. So he was a very famous calligrapher of India who did, who did the calligraphy and the font that he used to write the constitution by hand that was italic font. So I hope guys it is clear to all of you. Then do tell me. Then I will be discussing the next question. And in folk art you will find many people are there. Dances, many people, politics. So Prem Bihari Raizada, painter from Shanti Niketan, who designed the border of the pages of the constitution in which it was being calligraphed by Prem Bihari Raizada. I hope guys it is clear to all of you. Shall I move to the next question? So... No, in Hindi, 
that was did by Vasant Krishna Vaidya. So the Hindi calligraphy that was did by Vasant Krishna Vaidya Sharvani. Vasant Krishna Vaidya did the calligraphy of Hindi. Actually, the constitution is written in English. So originally it was written in English, but later it was translated and that was did by Vasant Krishna Vaidya. So I hope Sharvani got your answer. Okay, so that was about the Hindi calligraphy Vasant Krishna Vaidya and Prem Bihari Raizada was very clever person. He did not charge the single penny to calligraph the constitution of India. He said Ki on the every page I will write my name. So with the constitution he also became immortal. So he was a very clever person. He did not took a charge of calligraphing the constitution. Only his demand was only one. So he said, Ki, I will write my name on every page of the constitution. So it was being accepted by Pandit Nehru. He said, Ki, okay, no worries. So on every page, the name Prem, it is written. Prem behind Razada, he wrote Prem. And he also became immortal as our constitution is. So he is a very clever person. So he did not charge the penny to write a single penny to calligraph the constitution of India. I hope it is clear to all of you guys. Shall I move to the next question? Okay, let's move to the next question guys and let's see what next question is for us. Now, match the following. Somna Temple, Kamakya Temple, Ramanath Swami Temple, Mahabodhi Temple, Assam, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Bihar. So, he was a very clever person, did not charge the penny, became immortal with the constitution itself. Now, come to this question. Come to this question. So guys, every Saturday and Sunday, we are full with marathon. So on every Saturday, Sunday, soon science uh, educator will join us and definitely you will be getting the marathon of science as well. So it will be a one stop solution for your all examination and Saturday and Sunday, it is always fixed for the marathon sessions. Okay, let's see the correct answer. Option C. So maximum students, they are going with option C. Let's check. Somnath temple that is dedicated to Lord Shiva. It is in Gujarat. Then Kamakya temple. It is a Shakti Peet goddess. Sati. It is in Assam. That is in Guwahati. Ramanath Swami temple guys that is Rameshwaram. Rameshwaram that is of Lord Shiva that is in Tamil Nadu and Mahabodhi temple that is the place where Gautam Buddha Buddha was enlightened. So that is in Bihar and it is in specially it is in Bodh Gaya. So, what will be the answer for correct option should be C followed by A followed by B followed by D. So, C, A, B, D. C, A, B, D. Correct answer will be option C. Correct answer will be option C. I hope it is clear to all of you guys. C, A, B, D will be the correct answer. Mahabodhi temple that is located in Bodh Gaya and Bodh Gaya it is in Gaya district of Bihar. It is in Gaya district of Bihar that is Bodh Gaya. So correct answer will be C A B D that is the correct answer. And guys have you ever visited Ramanath Swami temple that is the famous Rameshwaram temple. Any one of you who has visited Ramanath Swami temple. Anyone who has visited Ramanath Swami temple. Okay, none of you have visited Ramnath Swami temple. So that's a very strange thing. I thought ki the students who are from the south, they are very much into the religious practices and def maximum temple they generally visit. Like uh, Tirupati Balaji temple, Meenakshi temple, Ramanath Swami temple. Okay, so Chandrasekhar has visited. So that is a very beautiful place, famous for the conches. Famous for the conches. 
ओके नियर टू मी जस्ट विजिटेड मेनी टाइम जस्ट हंड्रेड किलोमीटर सो आई एम ऑल्सो थिंकिंग टू विजिट दिस प्लेस दैट इज इन रामेश्वरम सो सून आई विल बी कमिंग टू दिस प्लेस टू पे माई होमेज टू लॉर्ड शिवा ओके यू आर फ्रॉम रामेश्वरम एग्जामिन योर सेल्फ सो दैट्स अ वेरी गुड सो दैट्स वेरी नाइस सो मैक्सिमम स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ माइंड दे आर इन द साउथ इन फैक्ट सो very good so the rameshwaram it is famous for the conches as well if i am not wrong so it is famous as the birthplace of dr kalam and famous for the conches the people go and purchase shankh from there the conches to blow in the puja ceremony if i am not wrong so that is very beautiful thing and i i am also thinking to visit this place to purchase the conches okay so no worries vijay you will the life is very long hmm. Hmm. so rameshwaram that is the birthplace of dr kalam hmm okay definitely bharat once i will be there definitely i will update you all now come to the next question guys come to the next question ki which temple is also known by the name of black pagoda so which temple is also named by the name of black pagoda is it trambakeshwar temple that is nasik banki bihari temple that is in vrindavan ramanath swami temple that is in rameshwaram or sun temple that is in konark so where you will find the which temple is called black pagoda it's a very easy question guys black pagoda we all know ki black pagoda is the sun temple that is dedicated to lord sun so it is dedicated to lord sun that is in konark dedicated to lord sun baki bihari temple guys baki bihari temple it is dedicated to lord krishna so it is dedicated to lord krishna and vrindavan it is in uttar pradesh that is in mathura district of uttar pradesh district trambakeshwar temple that is also dedicated to lord shiva ramanath swami temple lord shiva and nasik it is in maharashtra and from trambakeshwar godavari originates hmm. from trambakeshwar mountain godavari originates and white pagoda white pagoda is jagannath temple jagannath temple that is in puri white pagoda is jagannath temple that is in puri baki bihari temple that is in mathura and that is in vrindavan actually it is in vrindavan and uh, it is in mathura district of uttar pradesh and vrindavan it is famous for peda peda it is a type of a sweet dish so you will find once you will go to baki bihari temple you will find three things first is the temple of baki bihari that's a very beautiful temple other than this the pedas which is a type of a sweet dish in but oh, sweet dish and third you will find monkeys so there are many monkeys over there they can take your specs they can take your mobile phones so if you will offer them once you will give them fruity or any eatable item so they will throw your belongings and they will take that thing and will jump to the will go to different places so once you will go to mathura guys take care of your belongings especially the specs and the mobile phones once i was there so without specs i am a myopic person so i cannot see very far so anyhow i have to manage so once i entered in the temple then i put my specs and once i came out so i just used uh, put the specs in my pocket so that some monkey cannot take that so there you will find pedas plus monkeys they take your belongings and they will jump to the buildings and once you have to offer them some eatable items then they will return your things they will throw the things they will not come to return politely they will throw the things and you have to give them some food to eat so that's a very typical thing over there so once i was going inside the place so a shopkeeper said to me ki just take away your specs because the monkey can come and take this hmm 
and nidhi one is very mysterious yes definitely nidhi one is a mysterious in fact and you will find ki the homes which are around nidhi one they don't have their window towards the nidhi one so that you will find very interesting in mathura and the next important is the pedas that is a world famous and a very delicate a uh, very sweet uh, eatable item okay guys so once you will once the students from south once come to the north definitely this is a must visit place that is the birth place of lord krishna in fact that is the mathura hmm ha konark and puri puri both are in odisha konark and puri puri both are in odisha yes now come to the next question guys ki which tales are related to the paintings and sculptures of ajanta caves so ajanta caves which type of painting or the painting which is which is being uh, you can say influenced by which of the things panchatantra tale jain tale jataka tale or hitopadesh tale so painting and sculpture of the ajanta caves painting and sculpture of ajanta caves so students those who have did not like the session yet don't forget to like the session okay let's see the correct answer very good guys maximum students they are going with option c and yes guys correct answer is also option c jataka tales it is related to past life of buddha past life of buddha and you will find guys ajanta caves ajanta caves it is in aurangabad district of maharashtra and total number of caves total caves is 30 so total caves in ajanta is 30 hmm no no cave 16 no it is total 30 caves total 30 caves and elora Elora, you have thirty-four caves. Ajanta, you have thirty. Elora, you have thirty-four. Thirty-four caves. That is related to Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. And cave sixteen of Elora. It is. कैलाशनाथ टेम्पल केव सिक्सटीन ऑफ एलोराइड इज कॉल कैलाशनाथ टेम्पल पंचतंत्र इट इज रिटर्न बाई विष्णु शर्मा शर्मा इज द राइटर एंड हितोपदेश इट इज रिटर्न बाय नारायण पंडित so correct answer will be guys option c that is jataka tales and jataka tales it is a part of sudpitak so it is a part of sudpitak and it is mentioned in khuddak nikay mentioned in khuddak nikay so that is all about the past life of buddha so correct answer will be guys option c that is jataka tales ajanta elora both are in aurangabad district of maharashtra so ajanta elora both are in aurangabad district of maharashtra so correct answer will be guys option c that is jataka tales and jataka it is all about the past life of buddha so it is all around 549 stories approximately 549 stories about the previous birth of buddha so i hope guys it is clear to all of you so come to the next question and is that clear to all of you guys any doubt then please feel free to ask also if you have any query any confusion any doubt so feel free to ask as well okay so shall i move to the next question okay so if it is clear then let's move to the next question next question is ki the prolific painter 
of India, Makbul Fida Hussain, was predominantly using which animal to depict lively and free spirit in his painting? So, Makbul Fida Hussain used which animal to depict the free life of the painting? Is it tiger? Is it horses? Is it elephants? Is it cows? So, Makbul Fida Hussain, a very famous painter, although he was he is no more, and he also directed a movie. The name was Gajgamini, the Tale of Three series. So, what will be the correct answer, guys? Okay. So, Sharvani is going with option B. Vandana is also saying option B. So, let's see. Pandu is saying, Vijay is saying option B. Okay. Guys, correct answer will be horses. So, these horses are called Hussain horses. Hussain horses. So, correct answer will be, guys, Hussain horses. So, Makbul Fida Hussain, he was also a painter. So, famous painter and he directed a movie which was the comeback of Madhuri Dikshit, Gajgamini, a tale of three series. Gajgamini, a tale of three series. Now, guys, if I talk about this Hussain horses, if you have seen a movie that is a very famous movie and in fact, the debut movie of Ranbir Singh that was Ladies vs. Rikki Bahal. So, I hope every, some of you might have seen this movie, Ladies vs. Rikki Bahal. So, in that, uh, Ranbir Singh was playing the role of a con man. And what he did, he sold a fake Hussain horses painting and took the amount of the real painting. So, that is the thing that was in that movie, uh, Ladies vs. Rikki Bahal. So, that was a very interesting movie and if you get time, then do watch this movie. So this is full of entertainment. And you will find he was a very clever person. He used to con everyone. So if you will get that time. So I once I saw this movie. So that was a very interesting movie. So if you get that time. There you will find ki he took the price of the real horse painting. And sold the fake painting. So if you get that time. Please see that movie. So that's an entertaining movie. Your mind will get refreshed. It is not like that ki this will give you some message of the life. So no, it's a complete masala movie. Okay, so Vandana you have seen. So that is a very good thing. So ye, there you must have seen ki he sold the fake painting and took the real price of that painting. So that was a very interesting thing. Hussain Horses. Okay, so that was about the Makbul Fida Hussain. Makbul Fida Hussain, the very famous painter, M.F. Hussain. Now he was also very controversial because he painted some objectionable paintings of the Hindu god and goddesses. So all the Hindu groups, they became, uh, they went against him. So that was all about guys. Makbul Fida Hussain, also a very flop director. He directed Gajgamini, a tale of three series movie, which was the comeback of Madhuri Dikshit. I hope guys this much information about Makbul Fida Hussain is well enough for your examination and for your knowledge also. Okay, so shall I move to the next question guys? Shall I move to the next question? So that was all about some Bollywood masalas. Okay, let's move to the next question. Ki Shiv Kumar Sh Sharma, Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma, he died recently, he passed away recently, was famous for playing which musical instrument? Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma was famous for playing which musical instrument? So you don't think I always watch Bollywood movies, but I have a keen interest on watching the movie. But from uh, last four or five months, I have not watched any single Bollywood movie. Okay, let's see the correct answer. Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma. He was famous for playing Santur. Santur, it is a string. Musical instrument. It is a string musical instrument. Sitar. That is Pandit Ravi Shankar. And Anushka Shankar. Famous player Sarod, that is Ustad, Amjad Ali Khan, then Flute, Pandit, Hari Prasad, Chaurasia. 
पंडित हरि प्रसाद चौरसिया हाँ रिसेंटली ही डाउन सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज संतूर इट इज अ स्ट्रिंग म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट यू मस्ट हैव देर इज वन मोर पर्सन हु प्लेस संतूर दैट इज भजन सोपोरी so that you can remember his name bhajan sopuri also he also plays santur santur it is a string musical instrument don't say it is a name of a soap so earlier once i was in my childhood days so there was the there comes a soap the name of that soap was also santur hmm so earlier i have very keen interest in watching the movie so i used to give the example from the movies also so that the student can well understand the things because movie is something that everyone loves maximum of you loves and through this you easily understand the concepts which are very typical hmm vijanti mala that is the name of a actress so that is the name of an actress vijanti mala so it is she is this is the name of an actress so through if you see the movies and if you get some correlation then it is very easy to make any clear, typical concept easy to make and through the movies example everyone understand it properly so that was the usp of mind ke whenever i used to have the things so once i used to write the upsc ss also so there i used to quote some of the movies also so there i used to quote the dialogues of some of the movies and other things related to this so that was also a additive advantage okay so guys vijanti mala it's a name of an actress although i am not aware of too much of the films of the old actresses so only few i know like rakhi gulzar the famous she became famous after karan arjun although she was she is a very famous actress in the past but after karan arjun she became more famous now guys come to the next question next question we have ki the name the great musical maestro of indian music ustad bismillah khan hmm. so ustad bismillah khan it is he is related to which of the following musical instrument so ustad bismillah khan is related to which of the following musical instruments is that shehnai tabla sarod or flute so sarod and flute we have already discussed ustad bismillah khan उस्ताद बिस्मिल्लाह खान गाइस उस्ताद बिस्मिल्लाह खान वाज रिलेटेड टू शहनाई एंड इट इज अ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज प्लेड इन वेडिंग इन वेडिंग फंक्शंस इन वेडिंग that is played in musical ha sir she is dancer of which classical came in paper so vijanti mala that i have to say see tabla that is ustad allar rakha khan and his son ustad zakir husain they are the famous tabla maestros and yes and he used to do the add of taj mahal tea so he used to do the add of taj mahal tea therefore he used to say wah taj it is not like that he was fascinated with taj mahal so he used to do the add of taj mahal tea so he used to say wah taj it is not like that he was too much curious too much fascinated about taj mahal so tabla that is zakir husain sahab famous tabla maestro so correct answer will be guys shehnai that is related to the ustad bismillah khan and shehnai it is generally a it is played in the wedding season so in the wedding functions you will find people call shehnai player or now the track of the shehnai it is being uh, it is being blow it is being used in the wedding seasons so he used to do the add of taj mahal tea so he used to say wah taj but it's a very expensive but not that much good tea 
ओके नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइस कि सतारिया नृत्य इज रिकॉग्नाइज एज अ क्लासिकल डांस फ्रॉम इंडिया इन ऑफ इंडिया बाय संगीत नाटक एकेडमी ओनली इन 2000 इट ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम वेयर सो सतारिया डांस गाइस इज ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द व्हिच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज द क्वेश्चन इज इट असम कर्नाटक गुजरात और त्रिपुरा फ्रॉम वेयर यू विल फाइंड सतारिया डांस Sataria dance guys okay let's see the correct answer oh ho everyone is giving the correct answer that is option a assam that is being propagated or propounded by shankar dev shankar dev and that is a classical dance that's a classical dance and total number of classical dance total number of classical dances is how many so how many total number of classical dances are how many classical dances are in india guys hmm. so number of classical dances in india is total 8 so i have given you the trick to remember also a cube So I have given you the trick to remember total number of classical dances. We have eight. That is K cube, M square, OBS. So total number of classical dances in India we have eight. Huh? That is K cube, K for Kathak, K for Kuchipudi. K for Kathak Kali, M for Manipuri, M for Mohini Attam, O for Odissi, B for Bharat Natyam. and s for sataria so total we have the eight classical dances this is it is the name of eight classical dances so those students who did not knew although i have shared that trick in the telegram channel also so that is k cube m square obs so that is the name of the eight classical dances this is the trick to remember the names of eight classical dances of india I hope guys it is clear to everyone just I am on the one side of the screen so that you can take the screenshot or better you can note it down as well Mohini Attam Kathak Kali both are from Kerala so once I was child in fact and once I saw in the DD national any Kathak Kali dancer I became panic because the gesture and posture and as well as the costume they wear so that was very so that was very terrifying for me so when i used to do some naughty things so then my mother used to say if you will continuously you will be doing this type of thing then i will hand you over to these people so i became panic okay so don't hand me to this these people these people i am i was very panic after seeing the kathakali dances so when i used to do some naughty things so my mother says ki okay if you will do this then i will hand over it to you to them so then i stop doing the things and whenever it comes on the screen so i used to go and hide before my mother so that was very terrifying for me especially the kathak kali dancers hmm. okay so guys now let's move to the next question now which of the following is a dance style of maharashtra so next we have uh, the colors their uh, their uh, makeup is very peculiar although their eyes movement makeup that is very peculiar and it's now it's very good but in my childhood i used to get panic after seeing them so which of the following is a dance style of maharashtra is it lejim chirao ottoman thul or macha 
ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर चंद्रशेखर इज सेइंग ए एग्जामिन योर सेल्फ इज सेइंग सी भारत इज सेइंग सी विजय इज सेइंग ऑप्शन ए ओके गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डांस स्टाइल ऑफ महाराष्ट्र इट इज लेजिम इट इज लेजिम चिराव इट इज कॉल्ड बैंबू डांस चिराव इट इज कॉल्ड बैंबू डांस इट इज इन मिजोरम then ottoman thul keral and macha madhya pradesh macha madhya pradesh ha kathakali dance that is in dilse movie so dilse i have heard, seen uh, long back guys so that is in majoram so ottoman thul keral then macha madhya pradesh lezim that is in maharashtra hmm. Chirao Manipur Majoram, so that is also called bamboo dance. Okay, so correct answer will be guys option C, uh, C that is lezim and lezim it is a dance form of Maharashtra in fact. Now tamasha that is also from Maharashtra, yes tamasha that is also from Maharashtra. ओके गाइस सो लेट सी तमाशा इट इज आल्सो फ्रॉम द मध्य प्रदेश दैट इज आल्सो फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र तमाशा नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइस कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ come to the next question ke rof is a folk dance of which of the following state rof folk dance it is which of the following state is it haryana punjab rajasthan jammu kashmir so which of the following states have the folk dance rof rof it is a folk dance of which of the following states guys okay let's see very good everyone is saying option the correct answer so rof and hikkat rof and hikkat that was the famous folk dance of jammu kashmir kalbelia it is a folk dance of rajasthan then punjab भांगड़ा एंड गिद्धा दैट इज पंजाब नेम ऑफ फोक डांस फ्रॉम हरियाणा नाउ प्लीज नेम ऑफ फोक डांस फ्रॉम हरियाणा सो नेम ऑफ फोक डांस फ्रॉम हरियाणा दैट्स योर क्वेश्चन गाइस नेम ऑफ फोक डांस फ्रॉम हरियाणा any folk dance from haryana yes that is lur is also from haryana then dhamal is also from haryana so lur dhamal these are the folk dances from haryana ghumar ghumar it is also daf that is also from haryana and you will find guys rajasthan you will find ghumar also but ghumar it is did by the roy it is did by the ladies of the haryana of the rajasthan ghumar dance ghumar dance ghumar it is from the rajasthan kalbelia ghumar that you must have heard a song from padmavati padmavati movie padmavati movie that is ghumar that is ghumar 
so name of that song is also ghumar guys and it is in rajasthan so it was did by the ladies of the rajasthan so it was mainly did by the ladies of the rajasthan so you must have seen ghumar ghumar that was the name of the song that in which uh deepika padukone played uh, deepika padukone danced in that song so that you must have seen this was a very controversial movie it became and sanjay leela bhansali was slapped many times in rajasthan while uh, making that movie so that also become a very blockbuster hit and the specially the role that was played by by uh, ranbir singh of alaudin khilji that was a very decent role so guys correct answer will be jammu kashmir raw picker that is in jammu kashmir now let's move to the next question guys next question is ki folk dance that is not folk that is folk f o l k so k is missing folk dance lai harbora is popular in which indian state so folk dance lai harbora that is popular in which indian state lai harbora it is famous in which indian state is it assam manipur mizoram nagaland lai harbora lai harbora it is famous in which indian state okay it is option c or option b guys because lai harbora generally you will find in the manipur so generally you will find in manipur so it is in manipur so it is in manipur guys so this is lai harbora that is low that is being celebrated in the manipur and that is to please their local gods that was to please their local god so that is being celebrated in manipur to please their local god and ancestors to please their local god and ancestors so that is in manipur guys so that is not in mizoram it is in manipur hornbill hornbill festival that is in nagaland assam we have bihu assam we have bihu hmm cc hornbill it is in manipur so it is generally in celebrated in manipur generally celebrated in manipur generally it is celebrated in manipur lai harbora manipur generally it is celebrated so i hope chandrashekhar got your answer it is manipur clear it is in manipur so okay the mic is on is it clear shall i move to the next question is it clear guys shall i move to the next question okay so guys now let's move to the next question next question is guys ki which is india's first full length talky film so earlier the films they were on the muted format but india's first talking film was shri farhad bhakt prahlad indra sabha or alam ara so which of the following guys it is a talking movie talking movie means ki the movie which has audio earlier movies were they were in the muted format so full length talking movie full length talking movie guys 
Okay, let's see the correct answer. Very good, guys. Correct answer is option D. That is Alam Ara. It was being released in year 1931, and the director of this movie was Adeshir Irani. So Adeshir Irani was the director and it was the first India's talking movie that was released in year 1931. So that is Alam Ara. And that is a very famous movie. This question has came multiple times in different exam. India's first talking movie. India's first talking movie. Okay, so guys, correct answer will be option D. And India's first color movie, guys. India's first color movie. So India's first color movie, earlier the movies were on black and white. So it was India's first color movie. India's first color movie. So the name is Adeshir Irani. The name is Adeshir Irani. Vijay, it is Adeshir Irani. Okay, so remember Umang Goat. Umang Goat it is in the place that is in Meghalaya. So it is in Jaintia Hills, Meghalaya. So Umang Goat River it is in Meghalaya, guys. Jaintia Hill district of Meghalaya. So that you can note it's a very uh, clean river, Umang Goat. So the question of that is in Meghalaya. That is in Meghalaya, guys. Hmm. Meghalaya River, Meghalaya State. It is in Meghalaya State. That is in West Jaintia Hill District. So, name of the district is West Jaintia. Hill District. I hope it is whose question it is. So, Chandrasekhar. So, that is in Meghalaya, West Jaintia Hill District. It's a very clean river. And Umang and Satyavadi Harishan, it is not, it was Kisan Kanya. So that was not during the time of 100% color movie. So it was the first color, tri-color movie, it was Kisan Kanya. So correct answer will be guys, option D, that is Alamara, released in 1931. Director was Adeshir Irani. So correct answer will be option D. Now, which of the following pair is guys correctly matched? So, out of this four pair, which is correctly matched? Kathak, Keral, Kuchipudi, Odisha, Bharat Natyam, Tamil Nadu, Kathak, Kali, Uttar Pradesh. That's a very easy question. Okay, the question we have ki which of the following pair is correctly matched? Which of the following pair is guys correctly matched? So Kathak, Keral, Kuchipudi, Odisha. So correct answer will be guys option C. That is Bharat Natyam. That is from the Tamil Nadu. And it is originates. It originates from Natya Shastra. Of Bharat Muni. Nate Shastra of Bharat Muni 
कथक इस फॉर्म उत्तर प्रदेश कुचीपुड़ी दैट इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश कुचीपुड़ी इट इज नेम ऑफ अ वेलेज आल्सो भरतनाट्यम इट इज तमिलनाडु कथक कली दैट इज इन केरल सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी भरतनाट्यम इट इज अ क्लासिकल डांस एंड स्टार्टेड बाय भरत मुनि सो दैट हैज ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द नाट्य शास्त्र ऑफ भरत मुनि सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइस ऑप्शन सी दैट इज भरत नाट्यम दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द तमिलनाडु सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइस ऑप्शन सी now alu posto it is a traditional delicacy of which of the for which of the state of india so alu posto that's a very famous delicacy and it is related to which state of india alu posto okay so guys i let's see this is a this is a question from a dish that is a delicacy alu posto it is a traditional delicacy of which state of india okay so let's see the correct answer guys bharat is saying option d that is west bengal posto it is a poppy seeds posto poppy seeds so that is in the west bengal so that is a famous dish of west bengal if you will go to gujarat there you will eat about the haman dhokla that is in this haryana guys generally you will find uh, the products that is related to the milk and milk so products related to milk so milk products so correct answer will be guys option d that is west bengal so is this potato halwa no no it's not a potato halwa or potato porridge so this is the uh, like a you can say ki this is a type of a delicacy so it is not a halwa at all so it is just a delicacy that alu the potato along with the poppy seeds they are cooked jointly hyderabad that is famous biryani so hyderabadi biryani that is the spicy biryani which is always famous so correct answer will be guys it is famous for the west bengal in west bengal you will find a very important a very delicate uh, it's a called club kachori that i have eaten club kachori sandesh that is a very famous dishes over there club kachori sandesh rasogulla these are the famous dishes of west bengal they are known they are very much sweet lovers and tea lovers also they are very much sweet lover and tea lovers okay now guys come to the next question in which state of india the tribal festival sarhul is celebrated so in which state of india guys tribal festival sarhul is celebrated ha uh, that is bengali sweets that is the bengali sweets can comprise of the sandesh that's a very famous bengali dish then rasogulla this is also a bengali dish cham cham this is also a bengali dish hmm ha uh, city of joy so they love sweets so city city of joy you will find the uh, sweets like uh, uh, club uh, it is not a sweet in fact so it's a dish type club kachori is also very famous macher jhol that is a very famous thing over there but i don't like to eat fish so i never tasted this okay so guys let's move to the next question in which of the following states of india sarhul festival is celebrated so sarhul festival it is celebrated in which state of india 
सरहुल ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर छत्तीसगढ़ गुजरात झारखंड और असम सो सरहुल गाइज इट इज अ ट्राइबल न्यू ईयर सो सरहुल फेस्टिवल इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज अ ट्राइबल न्यू ईयर it is celebrated as a tribal new year and that is celebrated in jharkhand so this is celebrated in jharkhand garba and dandiya they are the folk dances from gujarat that is did during the time of that is did during the time of oh, the very famous navratri festival so sarhul festival it is a tribal new year celebrated in jharkhand state so it is celebrated generally it is celebrated in jharkhand that is the tribal new year so guys is that clear to all of you sarhul it is a tribal new year okay so guys is that clear to all of you and guys as i have promised i will be bringing the more marathons also that is related to art and culture sculptures monuments so that there should be a complete preparation from the side of general awareness so that you cannot miss any question in your exam navratri that is famous in all over north india you will find people celebrates navratri it is now not restricted to west bengal or bihar now the people from maharashtra they also celebrates other things uga that is the navratri gujarat they also celebrates and gudi padwa gudi padwa that is a festival of which state of india guys gudi padwa gudi padwa or padwa it is the festival of which state of india it's also a new year ugadi that is also a new year festival गुड़ी पाड़वा दैट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया गाइज गुड़ी पाड़वा यस गुड़ी पाड़वा दैट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ महाराष्ट्र देन उगादी दिस इज ऑल्सो अ न्यू ईयर मराठी न्यू ईयर देन उगादी कोई फाइनल में या कोई फाइनल दैट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन प्रदेश तेलंगाना एंड कर्नाटक उगादी it is also a new year so it is also a new year that is the andhra pradesh telangana and karnataka ugadi it is celebrated so correct answer sarhul it is also a tribal new year then gudi padwa it is a marathi new year ugadi that is a new year of andhra pradesh telangana and karnataka so correct answer will be guys option c and ugadi that is the telugu also so guys correct answer will be option c that is sarhul it is a tribal new year festival which is celebrated in jharkhand district okay now guys let's move to the next question next question is in which of the following temples ambuvasi fair is celebrated every year so ambuvasi fair that is celebrated every year it is in which temple is it in jagannath temple kamakhya temple kashi vishwanath temple or kedarnath temple so ambuvasi fair it is celebrated in which state of india in which temple of india okay vandana so you are saying kamakhya temple very good so guys kamakhya kamakhya and it is in kamakhya temple so that's a very famous temple kamakhya that is in guwahati that is in assam on the nilanchal mountain so it is this temple it is on nilanchal mountain jagannath temple rath yatra 
रथ यात्रा दैट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन जगन्नाथ टेम्पल काशी विश्वनाथ टेम्पल केदारनाथ टेम्पल जगन्नाथ टेम्पल इट इज डेडिकेटेड टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा बलराम एंड सुभद्रा सुभद्रा इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज द सिस्टर ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण एंड बलराम काशी विश्वनाथ टेम्पल इट इज इन वाराणसी एंड केदारनाथ टेम्पल इट इज इन उत्तराखंड so that is dedicated to lord shiva that is dedicated to lord shiva so kamakhya temple there you will find ambuvasi festival is celebrated over there so it is celebrated every year so it is the menstrual period of lord of goddess sati so correct answer will be guys option b that is kamakhya festive kamakhya temple that is in nilanchal mountain guwahati and that is located on the bank of river brahmaputra now which are, of which of the following state of india gamosa or gamocha it is a cultural symbol so gamocha it is a cultural symbol of which of the following state is it kerala assam rajasthan or haryana so where you will find gamosa or gamocha that is the cultural symbol of which state of india कल्चरल सिंबल ऑफ विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया इज गमोसा और गमोछा बोथ आर सेम गमोसा और गमोछा ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर सो विजय इज सेइंग असम ओके सो भारत इज आल्सो गोइंग विथ ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन बी दैट इज ऑफ असम सो लेट सी सम मोर रिस्पॉन्सेस ओके गाइस सो गमो साइट इज अ क्लोथ सो जोराई बोटा एंड गमोसा दीज थ्री आर द कल्चरल सिंबल्स ऑफ सिंबल्स ऑफ असम cultural symbol of assam so correct answer will be guys option c b that is assam zorai bota and gamosa so they are all from the assam so that is given for the sense of respect so sense of gratitude and respect sense of gratitude and respect so correct answer will be guys the state of assam it's a piece of a cloth so uh, background is white so the base is white and through on which through red color it is being painted the background is white so the base is white and through red colors it is being painted so guys correct answer will be option b that is assam now what is the parsi new year it is known as so parsi new year it is known as ugadi navroz Pateli on Punthato. So, what is Parsi New Year? Parsi New Year is known by which name, guys? Parsi New Year. okay so everyone is going with option b option b and yes guys correct answer is option b that is navroz and it is a parsi new year parsi people parsi new year and it was started by balban so started by balban and now this Iranian people that is the Zoras they are also called Parsi people they are the followers of Zoroaster they are the followers of Zoroaster and their religious book religious book is Zend Avesta
that is written in Avestan language. That is written in Avestan language and their god. God's name is Ahura Mazda and place of worship. It is called Fire Temple and it is in called Atish Behram. This fire temple is called Atish Behara. So, correct answer will be guys option B that is Navros. And just I am one, on one side of the screen so that you can note it down the important points related to Navros. Ugadi that is celebrated in Andhra also it is celebrated in the region of uh, Karnataka, Telangana. So, Ugadi it is celebrated in these three states. Okay, so on, I am on the one side of the screen guys, you can note it down the important things. I hope it is clear to all of you guys, then please tell me, then I will be moving to the next question. So then I will be switching to the next question. Is that clear guys, Ugadi we have already discussed. Okay, now guys, let's move to the next question. Rath Yatra at Puri, it is celebrated in the honor of which God? So Rath Yatra, it is in Puri. So generally, the few months back, the Rath Yatra was being there. So Rath Yatra in Puri, it is celebrated in the honor of which God? Is it Lord Ram, Lord Shiv, Lord Jagannath or Lord Vishnu? So Rath Yatra in Puri, that is celebrated in the respect of which God? It's a very easy question. Okay, so that is correct answer will be guys option C that is Lord Jagannath. Lord Jagannath is Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna is considered as the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. So correct answer will be Lord Jagannath. So correct answer will be guys Lord Jagannath. It is in Puri and Puri it is in Odisha. It is in Odisha and guys you will find that the flag of the Jagannath temple it is changed every day. The flag of the Jagannath temple it is being changed every day and the place where the Jagannath temple is it is like a no flying zone. So you will find that the birds also do not fly from the Jagannath temple. On above Jagannath temple you will find it's like a no flying zone, natural no flying zone. You will not find any birds flying over the Jagannath temple. So that's the beauty of the beauty of this temple. Ki the sea is very near to Jagannath temple. Once you are inside the temple, you will not find the sound of the sea. Once you go outside the temple, you will find the sound of sea. So that is the very beauty of this temple. And there on the head of the Jagannath temple, there is a put there is a Sudarshan chakra. And at any point of place, at any place, if you will see that Sudarshan Chakra, you will find that the Sudarshan Chakra is towards you. And this temple is without the shadow. No, no, no. Hmm. In Uttar Pradesh, most of the people, they are devotee of Lord uh, Krishna also because the birthplace of Lord Krishna, it is in Mathura. That is in Uttar Pradesh. Temple, it is not a temple without shadow. So that is in the, the temple you will find that is in the South India, that is a temple without shadow. So that is Raj Rajeshwar temple or Brihadeshwar temple. So the shadow of the Brihadeshwar temple in afternoon time does not fall on the land. So that is Raj Rajeshwar or Brihadeshwar temple that is in Tanjore, which is a temple without the shadow. I hope Vijay, it is clear to you. Temple without shadow, Raj Rajeshwar or Brihadeshwar temple that is made by granite. So that is made by granite. It's a first complete granite temple in India. I hope it is clear to everyone. Is that clear guys? Huh. That is in Tanjore. Okay. Now guys, let's come to the next question. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज की थर्टी फर्स्ट सूरज कुंड इंटरनेशनल क्राफ्ट मेला हैज बिगन इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सिटी और थर्टी फर्स्ट सूरज इट इज नॉट बिगन इन फैक्ट सो दैट इज नॉट बिगन इन फैक्ट सो सूरज कुंड क्राफ्ट मेला इज हेल्ड इन हेल्ड एट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सिटी सो सूरज कुंड क्राफ्ट मेला नाउ इट इज बिंग ओवर सो इट इज ओवर सो जनरली सूरज कुंड क्राफ्ट मेला दैट इज हेल्ड इन विच ऑफ द सिटी ऑफ इंडिया सूरज कुंड क्राफ्ट मेला इज इट इन फरीदाबाद जयपुर न्यू डेली जैसलमेर ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर ओके चंद्रशेखर इज सेइंग न्यू डेली वंदना इज सेइंग ऑप्शन सी दैट इज न्यू डेली गाइस बट द करेक्ट आंसर इज फरीदाबाद इट इज इन हरियाणा सो सूरज कुंड इट इज द नेम ऑफ अ प्लेस इन फरीदाबाद सो सूरज कुंड इट इज द नेम ऑफ अ प्लेस इन फरीदाबाद there you will find this suraj kund ओके एंड इन जैसलमेर गाइस मरु महोत्सव इज सेलिब्रेटेड सो मरु महोत्सव दैट इज अ कैमल फेयर सो दैट इज अ कैमल फेयर मरु महोत्सव दैट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन जैसलमेर सो जैसलमेर मरु महोत्सव फरीदाबाद यू विल फाइंड द सूरज कुंड फेस्टिवल सो गाइस करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन ए दैट इज फरीदा but it is in haryana and there is a place in faridabad which is called suraj kund there this festival is celebrated it is not celebrated in delhi it is celebrated in haryana and maru mahotsav it is celebrated in jaisalmer maru means maru sthal that is the desert that is desert maru means desert maru sthal that is called desert area now the famous the famous ganga sagar mela it is an annual fair which is held in which of the state of india ganga sagar ganga sagar festival it is held in which state of india guys is it bihar jharkhand uttarakhand west bengal ganga sagar festival ganga sagar festival guys it is held in which of the following state of india ganga sagar Ganga Sagar it is a very auspicious festival guys Ganga Sagar it is not celebrated option C option C option C so it is not in option C guys Ganga Sagar it is celebrated in West Bengal So Ganga Sagar it is celebrated in West Bengal guys so it is celebrated on the day celebrated on day of Makar Sankranti that is around 14th january so that is celebrated in west bengal guys that is around 14th january this is celebrated so ganga sagar festival it is celebrated from the generally on the day of makar sankranti and people came to take the holy dip in river ganga so people come to take holy dip in river ganga so ganga sagar that is 
पीपल कम टू टेक होली डिप इन रिवर गंगा पीपल कम टू टेक होली डिप इन रिवर गंगा सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइस ऑप्शन डी दैट इट इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन वेस्ट बेंगाल ऑन द डे ऑफ मकर संक्रांति छठ पूजा छठ पूजा इट इज एक्सक्लूसिव फेस्टिवल ऑफ बिहार एक्सक्लूसिव फेस्टिवल ऑफ बिहार नाउ इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया छठ पूजा सो इट इज एक्सक्लूसिव इट इज स्टार्टेड इन बिहार सो दैट इज द वर्शिप ऑफ लॉर्ड सन वर्शिप ऑफ लॉर्ड सन सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज गंगा सागर इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन वेस्ट बेंगाल नाउ लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पार्ट इट इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ चार धाम यात्रा सो आउट ऑफ दिस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ चार धाम यात्रा ऑफ उत्तराखंड सो दिस इज द चार धाम यात्रा ऑफ उत्तराखंड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ चार धाम यात्रा ऑफ उत्तराखंड इज इट बद्रीनाथ इट इज नॉट बद्रनाथ इट इज बद्रीनाथ बद्रीनाथ गंगोत्री वैष्णो देवी केदारनाथ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू चार धाम यात्रा ऑफ उत्तराखंड सो चार धाम यात्रा ऑफ उत्तराखंड गाइज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट देयर सो मुनेश हैज गिवन द करेक्ट आंसर दैट इज वैष्णो देवी इट इज इन त्रिकूट माउंटेन इट इज इन त्रिकूट माउंटेन नाउ इट इज इन जम्मू कश्मीर सो वैष्णो देवी अदर देन चार धाम चार धाम यात्रा ऑफ उत्तराखंड दैट इज बद्रीनाथ केदारनाथ अंगोत्री यमुनोत्री सो बद्रीनाथ केदारनाथ गंगोत्री एंड यमुनोत्री सो दीज आर दिस चार धाम यात्रा ऑफ उत्तराखंड बद्रीनाथ इट इज अ टेम्पल डेडिकेटेड टू लॉर्ड विष्णु सो बद्रीनाथ इट इज अ टेम्पल डेडिकेटेड टू लॉर्ड विष्णु एंड केदारनाथ दैट इज लॉर्ड शिवा so that is dedicated to lord shiva kedarnath now dogri language it is spoken mainly in which of the following state or union territories so dogri language it is celebrated in which of the following state or union territories of india guys is it jammu kashmir दादरा एंड नागर हवेली मिजोरम और त्रिपुरा सो डोगरी इट इज इट इज स्पोकन इन विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया विच स्टेट और यूनियन टेरिटरी डोगरी सॉरी डोगरी लैंग्वेज इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट एंड यूनियन टेरिटरी सो लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर so that is in jammu kashmir bodo dogri maithili and santhali schedule 8 of the indian constitution schedule 8 of the indian constitution that is bodo dogri maithili santhali so now this is language it is being added and dogri it is spoken in jammu kashmir so this is spoken generally in jammu kashmir that is dogri language so correct answer will be guys option a that is j and k now guys let's move to the next question 
कि फेमस खजुराहो ग्रुप ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट फेमस खजुराहो ग्रुप ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट इट इज लोकेटेड इन विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया सो फेमस खजुराहो ग्रुप ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट इट इज लोकेटेड इन विच ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया खजुराहो ग्रुप ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट इट इज लोकेटेड इन विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया इज इट उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश राजस्थान और महाराष्ट्र खजुराहो ग्रुप ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट्स ओके लेट सी द करेक्ट आंसर शार्वनी सिंह ऑप्शन बी एवरी वन इज गोइंग नॉट एवरी वन इन फैक्ट सो एवरी वन इज गोइंग विथ ऑप्शन बी एंड येस खजुराहो इट इज इन छतरपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट छतरपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश सो दैट इज लोकेटेड इन मध्य प्रदेश सो दैट इज लोकेटेड इन मध्य प्रदेश फेमस फॉर द इराटिक स्कल्पर्स एंड कंदरिया महादेव टेम्पल सो दिस इज फेमस फॉर द इराटिक स्कल्पर्स एंड कंदरिया महादेव टेम्पल सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज मध्य प्रदेश नाउ गाइज लेट्स मीट नेक्स्ट लेट्स मी आर टेक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की मैथिलीट इज अ प्राइमरली स्पोकन इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया सो मैथिली लैंग्वेज नाउ इट इज इन शेड्यूल एट ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन so mathlete is spoken where so mathlete is spoken where is it in bihar assam west bengal meghalaya so where you will find the people speaking the mathli language yes mathlete is spoken in the मिथिला रीजन ऑफ बिहार सो इट इज स्पोकन इन द मिथिला रीजन मिथिला रीजन ऑफ बिहार सो जनरली द स्पोकन फील्ड इज दरभंगा एंड मधुबनी दे आर द प्रोमिनेंट Mathili speaking districts of Bihar. It is a prominent Mathili speaking districts of Bihar that is Darbhanga and Madhubani. So it is a very soft spoken language, guys, and you will find that the son-in-law it is given very much respect and very much gratitude in these reasons. So. if the person is a son in law of this reason so they are given max much respect maximum respect and maximum things so you will find ki the people they are very much foodie in this area so they have a very uh, deep keep passion of food so they are too much foodie in this area hmm. so the people they are very much a person who respects another one they always respect and welcome guest with a full smile and they are very much foodie people so different different delicacies that is made on every day in this type of household specially in the mathili households so this was mathili it is the language that is spoken maximum in bihar specially the mathili speaking districts are darbhanga and madhubani now saharsa also speaks but main districts are darbhanga madhubani you will find saharsa saharsa also speaks so these are the districts that speaks the madhubani that speaks the mathili language i hope it is clear to all of you okay so students with this we come up with the end of our today's session and i hope guys you must have enjoyed the session and found the session useful and interesting and that is according to the need of your exam as well because maximum questions they are previous year questions of the different examination so guys this is the youtube session schedule of our regular session that starts with the 9 am tosif sir taking the english session sanjay tomar sir taking the maths reasoning by ankit sir and i will be taking your gk section so guys with this once 
let's conclude the session of today and let's again meet at 4 pm for the session on the history that is the revision of the models so that was all for the day from my side guys so that was the marathon of art and culture and you can just give your recommendation for the marathon classes also so your recommendations for the marathon classes are always welcome so that we can plan according to the need of yours so that was all for the day guys you can give your recommendation for the marathon sessions in the comment box of the video so that we can take the marathon on those topics so that was all for the day guys. Let's meet sharp at 4 p.m. for the session on Indian history. So that is all for the day. Bye-bye everyone. Do take very good care of yourself.